What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video we're talking about legendary broadcaster Kev, Keith Quinn. Sorry, He's gone out and made a tweet saying what's happening to these guys in sport. He says, the TV news the last few days, Johnson winning obviously the Masters, Hamilton uh, breaking or tying the record with Schumacher in F1, Puma rugby players getting emotional, crying their hours out, he said. He said, would the sight of the All Blacks wearing pink boots have moved pine tree meads? I doubt it. Harden up, blokes of today. TJ Pereira Monara has went in on a response to him saying, you know, the fact that well, how can you go for people? You then apologize, but you leave the tweet up, so you're clearly still in. Um, and a lot of people have had mixed emotions about this tweet and comment. And you know what? It's a very interesting situation. I mean, you watch rugby in certain sports, people are brought up to like be tough guys and to be these scary athletes. But at the end of the day, they're just human. They're just people playing a, a sport that they love and are passionate about so dearly. And for me personally, the fact that they show emotion shows me how much playing the sport means to them. Playing for their country, playing for their friends and family, playing for their role models that they've looked up to, as well as the youngsters who are now looking up to them. It's an amazing achievement to, to prove so many people wrong in tough situations. I mean, in the world we're living in today, there's so much negativity. I mean, when teams lose, oh, you've got fans that are very critical. When teams win, you've still got critical fans. But, you know, then they good with you again. It's on and off situations. So for guys to achieve something as great as beating a team like the All Blacks or winning a World Cup or a championship, it's an amazing achievement, especially when you've dreamt of it as a kid growing up. I mean, I remember when I was told I could never play cricket because of my size. The coach said to me in front of my whole team, I was shattered. But it didn't stop me. I wanted to prove this coach wrong. I wanted to show the world or to show the, my school uh, that I could do it. Anyway, I kept on practicing and eventually got um, a first team call up two years after constant training. And in my final year of school, I became first team captain. For me, that was phenomenal. And it was an emotional experience when I look back at that because I was once told I could never do it because of my disability. But yet, because I didn't give up, I proved them wrong and I got the leadership position of a first team cricket team that no one said I could do. And for these guys to achieve such greatness by winning something, of course you're going to get emotional because it's something you've dreamt about, something you've been passionate about. And I understand that people are brought up saying, oh, you've got to harden up and you can't do these things, it's showing weakness and all that stuff. Hey, forget it, you're human. It shows that you love what you do. It shows that you're still just as determined. You don't have to be this big guy who wants to scare everyone. Yes, on the field, but off the field, you can be a genuine human. Look at John Alamo, for example, the late great. When he was on the field, he was absolutely terrifying. But come off the field, he's a humble, genuine bloke who cares and has a love for what he does. You know, all these guys go through mixed emotions. I'll never forget. Peter Steph de Toy crying when the Springboks beat the All Blacks over in New Zealand. It was an amazing achievement. And also take note, teams or players or, or individuals or coaches have come, could have come from a very tough past where they were once told you can never achieve something because X, Y and Z. And the fact that they've overcome those boundaries, defeated the odds and have gone in just goes to show how hard they've worked and the fact that they're emotional because they finally achieved their dream is remarkable. Let's flash back to Rassi Rasmus sharing the story about Makazola Mapimpi, who had nothing. The players got offered, put your family's faces on the back of your jersey. Mapimpi couldn't because his family was no longer with him. So he had to take photos of himself 
and get them on. Rossi Rasmus cried because it showed how far this guy's come from the lowest of lows to becoming a Springbok world champion, a rugby world champion, a phenomenal inspiration. Think of that message that he's sharing to all the youngsters out there who are in similar situations to him. Sport has the power to change the world and it has the power to inspire. And the fact that you show emotion for me makes you bigger than anyone. It makes you bloody human and it makes you phenomenal. So I take my hat off to TJ Perinara for defending and, and sticking up for players of emotion. And he's going against his own countrymen, by the way. So for me, show your emotion, let it out. You are proud. You love what you do, and you are proud. I mean, jeepers, when the Springboks won the World Cup, I wasn't even playing, yet I was crying. I, almost, I shed a tear or two for Argentina last week because I know how hard teams work. I know the effort that they put in on and off the field. And to achieve something when you haven't even played a sport for over a year, your, your, your teammates have got COVID-19, which is hectic, and they've overcome all of that and still prove all the critics wrong. For me, I take my hat off to those who show the emotion, who show the care. It, 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 for me, it inspires and it, and it sheds a light to the others to say, do what you do because you love it. If you go into it with the passion, you're going to achieve it. Don't go in it for the money because clearly you're playing for different reasons to others. So it just shows how much you love the game. And that's just my thoughts on it. Please be sure to share your thoughts. Be respectful, obviously. If you have a different opinion, share it. But, um, you know, for people who want to show genuine emotion, good on you. Keep it up. That's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys real soon for another one. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers. Cheers.